Okay, we're gonna try this again. I went live on my personal page. Don't know how I did that. I just, I wasn't paying attention. So, hey, this is Lee with the Turquoise Valentine and I'm on my Turquoise Valentine page this time. Um, if you're here, if you're watching replay, thank you for watching. Um, it will be loaded up to YouTube when I get finished and Facebook lets me load. No wonder it looked funny. It said something funny at the bottom and I was like, what is, what's, I thought Facebook just changed something. Then I saw, you know, nobody was jumping on and I was like, where's everybody at? And then my son, hey everybody, I was on my personal page, y'all. I went live on my personal page. <laughs> oh gosh, y'all, it's been a day. It's been a day. Um, and there is everybody. I was like, where are all my peeps? <laughs> I was on my personal page going live. I was like, oh my goodness. So anyway, hey Penny, hey Matilda, hey Pam, hey everybody. There's all my people, my friends. I was like, where's all my friends? I don't know where they went. And and Colin comes on and he's like, Mom, you're on your personal page. <laughs> I was worried. I said, oh my gosh, my people have left me. But I was just continuing on. I was showing fabric. And then my son's like, you're on your personal page, Mom. <clears throat> Woo! <laughs> Dom, that's why you couldn't find me. I was on my personal page like a nut. People probably thought, what is she doing? Hey, Karen. Karen Ramsey, hey. Are you new? Welcome if you're new. Okay, so I was showing my fabric until I realized I was on my personal page. So, if you're on my personal page, you got the first part of the show, so we're starting over. <laughs> uh, anyway, so... Um, Hey, Wendy. Hey, Darlene. Hey, Pamela. Thank you for sprinkling. Okay, so this is the fabric I got from Walmart today. You know, it comes in this little roll. I got the skeletons because, you know, I'm an x-ray tech at heart, and I'm doing the black and white for my Halloween this year. Um, <laughs> yes, that's why you couldn't find me. I was just, I don't know. <laughs> I just had a lapse or something because I just, I was in here talking to my husband, and it was time for me to go live. And so I just turned on Facebook, boom, hit the button and went. And <clears throat> so I was on my personal page. I was like, oh my gosh, where is everybody? Here y'all are. Y'all are in the right spot. I wasn't. <laughs> I'm just glad we can laugh at ourselves. So I got this one. This one's rolled up. So you can't, when it's when it's in the store, so you can't really see it like this, but it has a lot of little prints on it. And I thought, well, wouldn't that be cute if we just like used the truck you know, and cut the truck out and, or use the pumpkins or something like that. It's got a bunch of sayings on it. Like, I'll show you the whole piece. So ch keep checking Walmart, guys, because they're, obviously they're putting it out slowly. But this was in the fabric, you know, where the fabric and stuff is. And it was in these little boxes on the end cap is where mine was. So here's this one. Hey, Marie. Hey, Robin. And I had to have the candy corn because I love candy corn. You're either one, two types of people. There's two types of people. Either you love candy corn or you hate candy corn. I love candy corn. I don't even need to get near it because I'll just eat the whole bag and wonder what happened to it on my sugar high. Be like, where did the bag go? I ate it all. <laughs> yes, Teresa. Oh my gosh. <clears throat> so I had to get the candy corn. Don't know what I'm going to do with it, but I have a fabric problem. I have... I have a good bit of fabric. <laughs> um, anyway, and then I got this, y'all. I love this. But I didn't buy any of the bundles, like the fat quarter little bundles that all go together. They were really cute. But I resisted. I didn't get any of those. But these are $1.47 at Walmart. And it's a, it's a fat quarter like that. And they're rolled up and they're in a box. Oh, you got your beads today. That's a good deal, Becky. Okay, so this is not this cute. And I'm thinking little pillows for tear trays and all kinds of fun stuff. So when I saw it this morning, I said, oh, I got to take pictures of it all. So, um, so y'all can see all the stuff they had. Of course, I would have loved to have had every single one of them. But I love this. I love this one. Okay, so I got to figure out what I'm going to do. Candy corn with salty peanuts. And Angela, I put M&Ms in there too. I mix M&Ms with it. So you get a little chocolate, a little salt, and a little sweet. Oh, it's awesome. Yes, it's so good. <clears throat> okay, so there's my fabric. Now I'm on the right page. We're gonna do the craft on the right page. I'm glad Colin told me because I'd have been halfway through the craft and been like, what is happening? 
Yeah, all the sugar. I know. I love candy corn, too. And it has to be the good candy corn. It can't be some off-brand candy corn. It's got to be the good candy, the Brock's candy corn. It's got to be the good candy corn. Oh, Mandy, get that fabric out, girl. Make you some fabric tassels and Mod Podge it onto something and make it cute. Because how cute would this be Mod Podged onto something? Adorable, y'all. Adorable. $1.47. Or the candy corn. Make a little pillow for your tiered tray with it. I love fabric. There's so many possibilities you can use fabric for. I'm just a fabric junkie. <clears throat> yes, Angela, put, put some, just plain M&Ms. Put that in there. You can have my candy corn. I love candy corn. I don't need it. It sticks with me too much. Like, all down here it sticks. So, I don't need it. But I love it. I like candy corn. And in the Easter time, I like the robin eggs. That's a whole nother addiction. Okay, so we're going to do something small tonight, and we're going to do, it's going to be fun, and this could be gifts for anybody, pretty much. If you have keys of any type, you could do this for anybody. And give them as a gift, stocking stuffers, teachers, gifts, any kind of just happy for somebody or a little gift bag. We're going to make these with our wood beads that everybody's already got their beads because we did bead craft the other night, so... I'm playing off that thinking, okay, you can use, <clears throat> you can use um, your beads for what we did the other night with the little vases and they're in my house. Um, and we're going to make keychains. Okay. So I got this at Walmart today because I wanted to show y'all with the price tag on it. This, what I made mine with, you don't need any fancy attachments or any hooks or any kind of uh, crimp beads or anything like that to do this. It's very simple. Um, this was 98 cents at Walmart. They had a little bin of it where the jewelry making supplies are in the craft section. They had a little bin and they had, um, they had all these colors. They had this color, they had black, they had dark brown. They had a mustard yellow, a blue, a red, and, and it's just, um, it's eight feet for 98 cents. So you could make a ton of keychains or even like uh, if you just want to make like book bag on the book bag, the zippers on the book bag, your kids' book bags, all that, you could do it. Um, <clears throat> so that, you'll have to have this, little leather. I use the leather because I don't have to have any kind of um, special any other hardware to make the keychain. And then you'll need some of these key rings. And they have these at Walmart too. I think this one actually came from Walmart. You can buy them in bulk on Amazon if you want to make a ton. But this one has 10 in here. And I think I've already, yeah, I've already used some out of this pack. But it has, it says 10 pieces. So look at Walmart. I know Hobby Lobby and Joann's have them. <clears throat> or Amazon if that's your option and you don't want to go buy anything anywhere. Hey, Terry. <clears throat> Robin, I bought that out of pizza ice. I bought that sloth material too at Dollar General, Dollar Tree. Yay, Jane, this is what these are. The 20 millimeters. That's what those are. Now, and I know a lot of y'all are saying, <clears throat> well, will the paint come off of these with your keys? And that ans the answer to that is no. Because Paige, my daughter in law, she has one of these that I made her, um, I made her probably over a year ago, and she still has it on her keys, y'all, and it still looks, I mean, you can tell it's worn, you know, a little wear and tear on it, but it still looks like this. The paint did, the paint did not come off, so she's kind of been my guinea pig, so to speak, so she still has it, and if she's on, she'll tell you, oh yeah, I still have it. Okay, so we're going to jump right in. We're going to paint, paint some beads, and I got some, I got some pretty colors we're going to do. <clears throat> Yes, Tammy, the real ones, the, not the fake ones. Well, you can't have the fake ones. You got to have the real robin eggs and the real candy corn. Thank y'all for sprinkling. Uh-oh. Somebody passed away. I'm so sorry. Robin eggs, I buy at least five bags at a time. Myra, if I bought all five bags, I would eat all five bags. I don't need to do that. It's, I just can't help myself. I have a sugar addiction, like, really bad, and I, I know I do. Um, you love making keychains? Okay. So, <clears throat> basically, we're just going to, like, paint. You can paint the beads any way that you choose to paint them. This one in the middle here, that shimmery-looking paint, I don't know if you can tell, but it's like a shimmery pearl color. It is, I put an M on the bottom so I know it's metallic because all my paints are stored 
so I can see the bottom. Um, it's called White Pearl, and it's from Michael's Craft Smart. But the rest of these are Apple Barrel, and then I have two Anitas. So we're gonna make, you can do Christmas, you can do holidays. So I got these I made in like a sticker. <clears throat> these, these are like bright, cute colors. And so I'm gonna make some with like some fallish colors. I have a sugar addiction too, yes, okay. Now this kind of gets tedious because you are painting half a bead or you can paint the whole bead. It's totally up to you. I think I'm gonna, let's see. This is how I paint my beads. Uh, Parmesan shaker thing from Dollar Tree and I put things down in there. It just helps me. Uh, they're, Mandy, they're 20 millimeters. And you can get them on Amazon. Um, if you're in my group, I have um, I have a link at the top of that page. I took the one off my main page down, but I need to um, I need to put it back because I, I didn't know if maybe Facebook was kind of not liking it. Those dollars add up fast, they do. And I went into two Dollar Trees yesterday, and they didn't have a lot of fall, so I'm kind of jealous because I keep seeing all these people everywhere that have all these fabulous Dollar Trees and it's like, they don't have it out yet. So I've got English Navy, that's what color, cause I know y'all will say, what colors are you using? English Navy, King's Gold, which is a real pretty mustardy color. And then this is Spiced Carrot. And it's like a orange, but it's kind of a muted orange. <clears throat> Let's see, how am I gonna make this work? So we're going to, I'm just gonna start and kind of paint around the top of the bead. So like I said, you can do this any way you choose. Um, you can paint the whole bead. I'm trying to hold it and paint it at the same time. Um, Cause it gets tedious when you're trying to do a straight line all the way around. I can't talk and paint at the same time. Uh, okay, so yeah, this gets kind of difficult because I'm trying to hold it with my fingernails and that's not working. Can't believe I went live on my on my personal page, y'all. I was wondering where all of you were. I was like, oh no. That's why it looked funny. Because something popped up at the bottom about tagging people or something and I was like, well, maybe it's something new. Fall was supposed to be out by today. And I went yesterday and no. Well, half of them don't have people to help them. They can't get people to work. So I think that's not helping. All right, now mine's not perfect. I'll be the first to admit. All right, so I just painted half of that one. And if I get it close, y'all can see it's not perfect, but it's good enough for me. All right, so I got that one. <clears throat> so now let's see, I'm gonna paint, I think I'm gonna paint the navy solid. This is the same navy I used the other night on the, when I watered down the paint for the bead vases I made. And I saw a bunch of y'all already made those. Yeah, ours don't have anything either. And I keep seeing posts from different people that their Dollar Tree is like fully stocked and they're showing this huge wall of stuff. And I'm like, come on, y'all are holding out on us. So but they just, they can't get it out fast enough. It's like, let me get back in the back and I'll help. <laughs> just so I can have the, my pick of stuff. I just wanna see it all. I don't need any of it, but there's a few things that they have that's new this year that I like, that I love to decorate for fall. Hey, Audrey. Some managers hold it until after the school supplies are gone. Yeah, I think that's it too because they have that whole wall filled with school supplies, so that may very well be it. So look how pretty that blue and that orange go together. So see, it's not, it's, I don't have a bright orange around here, but see, it's not bright orange. It's like a muted color, so it's pretty, and it's called Spiced Carrot. Your Dollar Tree's getting to fall, but no calendars. I, I haven't seen the calendars personally. I think I can, maybe I'll leave it here. All right, so let's see, on the mustard one, um, 
Oh, thank you, Nancy. Every time I see your name, Nancy, it just makes me think of Nancy Taylor. And God bless her. I miss her so bad, y'all. So this one, I think I'm gonna try to do a little something different and I'm just gonna paint around the belly of the bead. I'm gonna try. I got like a flat paintbrush and I'm just gonna try to make a line all the way around. I appreciate y'all hopping on and coming and crafting with me tonight. Oh, Becky, yours had the calendars out yesterday. I'm sure people go in there and buy the whole box at once. I mean, I'm, I'm not, I will not be surprised if that happens. And then they probably know managers and stuff and they get them to hold them. Yeah, Dora, we could go in there at night and have that whole store, store stocked up full by the next day. Trying to hold my mouth right. I was so crazy, I even plugged in my glue gun, and I'm not even using my glue gun. Yes, Nancy, I do. I miss her so bad. I talked to her on the phone every day, and she kept me company. I kept her company, and I miss her terribly. But I know where she is. She's watching from, down, from up there and trying to hold this bead and get my line sort of straight. All right, so I just went around the middle and left the things open. Yes, that tattoo is new. I showed it one night on my live after I got it. Um, so I wanted a watercolor tattoo and it's still healing, so it's not completely, I can't even show it good. But um, that's that heart, Deidre had that on her, her foot and we got one on our other foot the same day and she got that heart. And so I got that heart put here for her. Um, okay, so let me put my bead on my skewer and let it dry. <laughs> hey, Susanna. You thought about, and you thought about going to work at Dollar Tree when you retire? It's not probably not a bad job. I don't know. It might be. I don't know. The stocking probably wouldn't be fun. But the, the one over by me, um... They have a little guy, and he's, he's always stocking. So, I don't know if that's just what he just stocks, and that's it. I don't know. That's all I ever see him do. One calendar is back to the store today. If they want the whole box, then they can order online. I know, right, Nancy? But they, they probably go in there and buy the whole box. I, I wouldn't be surprised. But, I, you know, and when I go to Dollar Tree, I'll buy one or two or something, but I don't. I don't take take everything because I gotta leave it for everybody else. But not everybody thinks like that, you know? When they can order online, have but you know, I don't know if they do that. They probably do. See, Robin's had two weeks ago. Okay, so see how pretty those colors are gonna be together? Just like a fall kind of thing. Okay, so now let's paint. Let's do a Christmas one. Let's see, I might have to if that's dry. I have to hit it with the dryer. It would help if it was plugged up. That ain't gonna happen. I plugged in the glue gun and didn't plug in my heat gun. And I went live on my regular, my personal page like a crazy person. My friends all probably think, okay, she has fell off her rocker and she has lost it. Okay, so I'm gonna, just, I'm gonna do a couple, um, well, we're gonna kind of we're gonna kind of decorate them a little bit. Hey, Nisi, this is my new favorite red. It's called Tomato Red by Anita's. It's not like a dull, it's a bright red because the Christmas red is a little more, they have one called Christmas Red and it's a little bit more toned down. I like this bright red. And this is what I painted the Ho-Ho set with was this Tomato Red because I just like it. It's a bright, vibrant red. Store had the calendars and you got five each. So see, you left some, so that's not bad. I personally, I don't know what people would do with the whole box. I guess they would sell them online or, or either give them away or, um, I don't know. And be sure to get all up under there. Okay, so there's my red. Maybe this will dry fast and I don't have to turn on the heat gun. I don't get it too thick. All right, there's that tomato red. See, it's so pretty red. 
You just want to put on a green a, a green apron and go to work. That's right. Be like, let me show y'all how fast I can stock these shelves. You just watch me. Just stand back and watch. Of course, you know, we just wanted to get it out there. We don't even have to have to uh, get paid. Just let us get out of the way. See, if, if Dollar Tree, you know, if they're listening, they just need to tell let us tell them, hey, this is how you do it. This is how we do it. Ain't that a commercial? Yes, Anita's is made by Rust-Oleum. It does. It says it right there on the back. I was like, oh, how cool. Because I use their spray paint all the time. Oh, the styrofoam pumpkins, like the those this size ones, you ordered a whole case of them. Oh, my gosh. You're going to be pumpkin out when at your at your house. <clears throat> and if you ship it to your store, it's free. You can just go pick it up because I have done that. I did that with the bunnies back in Easter. All right, so this is parakeet, I think. Yeah, this is parakeet, my favorite lime green color from Apple Barrel. 50 cents at Walmart. And it, it's just that perfect grinchy green. And I'm going to have to, I got to configure me a little drying rack over here like that. See? Y'all see how I got, I got it suspended. 48 to a case. Goodness gracious. Goodness gracious. That's, that's a lot. I don't know what I would do with 48 calendars. All right, I'm going to show y'all this. This is the... Um, the, it's called White Pearl, and I love their Craft Smart paint from Michaels. Um, just for being their store brand, it, it's pretty good paint. Let's see. Pick my, my weapon of choice. But this is really pretty. I know y'all can't see it on camera, but it's, it's not silver. It's white, but it's like a pearl, but it's got a shimmer to it. It's really pretty. Yeah, Charlene, they do some things. You can buy like five of this or um, six of these, but it's not a lot of items. But yeah, that's, I agree. They need to sell more things. But I guess it wouldn't really make money for them to ship that much stuff, like one calendar. I, I don't know. I don't know their reasoning behind it all, but I agree. They probably couldn't keep stuff in stock if they sold it like that because everybody would be buying it. All right, so the thing about this paint is, is see how light a coat that is? And then this is the one that's been painted a couple of times, so I'm gonna put another coat on it. And I gotta configure me up some, my little tightrope I got going on over here, my little bead tightrope. <laughs> Don't breathe on it, it'll fall. Especially when you have Target, Walmart, et cetera, paying $13 to $15 an hour. Yes. $48 for a case of calendars. Oh, my goodness. The D Yes, Tammy. The D, D stash sites on, the, on Facebook, they sell them to the thing. Pearlized. There's the word. Pearlized. Okay. So, let me see. Got my red. It's pretty much. Ooh, look at the bottom, y'all. I totally, totally did bad on that. Get another paintbrush and fix it. We're going to add some little dots and all kinds of cute stuff to them when they dry. Let's see if these, these little guys are dry. So these are my half ones. I just did ha painted half very carefully. And I'm going to put my green. Well, he's okay there. I won't move him. All right. And then here is my yellow, and I just painted around the center of it. $15 each. What? There, there's no way. There, there is no way I'd pay fifteen dollars for that calendar. Those people are gonna be stuck with a whole bunch of calendars. That's just insane. I. That's just highway robbery. Yes, you could go to her website. You sure could, and you could buy the prints or something. And I don't think she, if I understand right, I don't think she has any this year in the in the. Hey, Holly, you're okay. I'm just glad you made it. Um, hey, Deborah, I don't think Jennifer has any prints this year in the calendar, if I understood her right. Yes, Karen, you could split the case. If you had like a bunch of crafting buddies where you live, you could definitely split it for sure. 
And I know a lot of crafters on Facebook are, are giving them away and all that stuff because we like to give back to all of you. I don't... I've done some, I, I don't even know if I have done some stuff with the calendars, but um, I don't know. It's like I feel like sometimes that, you know, everybody gets the calendars and they start crafting with them and then it's all kind of been done. So I just kind of like, okay, I don't know what to do. Oh, you would buy her prints before you'd buy the cheap made calendar. See, that's two coats and it probably needs another coat. Hey, Nilma from Delaware. That's a long way from me. I'm down here in the hot south where it's 99 degrees today. I felt like 110 or something with all the humidity. Look, I can't do anything without getting paint all over my hands. Yes, Linda, we're all doing good. I hope everybody's doing good. Scary here tonight. There was a tornado warnings. Wow. Tornado warnings, Darlene. You okay? All right. So, I got my blue... I had to touch it up a second and then we're gonna we're gonna build our I still gotta put another coat on that white but um I need to decorate them Donna okay I got a menagerie of stuff going on let me clean up a second okay all right so I want to put some I'm gonna put some dots on my red one and I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna do that now you could use the end of that. And I think I'll use the end of that just to show y'all. And I gotta plug my heat gun up, y'all. I'm gonna have to, because for this part, I'm gonna have to plug it up. So hang on and let me get it plugged up. Where's my extension cord? Where's my extension cord? Oh, my extension cord's plugged into the light. So that's not gonna help me. Heat turn the light off. Okay, sorry guys. 103 in Oregon. What? Thunderstorms rolling in. Yeah, I bet because it's so, so um, hot. But you know what? I think I might try a little something first. Well, these won't dry fast. The Poscas will. Y'all, these Poscas, you know, my Posca markers I use a lot. This was on sale at Joann's a while back for $2.47. And you bet your bottom dollar that I bought it. Poscos dry a lot faster. Marla, you're okay. We're just making little keychains like this right here. I'm just painting my beads and I'm showing y'all how to make these. Just good gifts are for friends or teenagers to give people or book bags or anything like that. And I'm trying to get my Posca pen started. Okay. All right. So I'm going to, I'm just randomly going to put little white dots all over the red one. Just make little dots. I'm all about some polka dots. Stayed south, but holy cow, wow. Um, my room when I was a teenager was black and white polka dotted. I had that border around the top of my room when I was a teenager. And I loved it. All about some dots. So this is my pot, just Posca, or if you have a paint pen, you could do that. Paint pens don't agree with me. <laughs> And they do take a while to dry because they're oil based and these are acrylic paint so see i'm just putting little happy dots all over it but these would make cute little zipper pulls for kids book bags for back to school and i know y'all have beads right because a bunch of people said oh i bought beads to make those little vases with so i'm just gonna hit it real quick so all my dots won't smear I'm making bead keychains, wood beads, and yes, the paint does stay on because my daughter-in-law, my voice is not with the video. Uh-oh, I guess it's the Wi-Fi or either it's Facebook. Um, my daughter-in-law still has one on her keychain. She's had it on there probably about a year. Oh, Joanne's has her scrapbook paper 70% off. Are they getting rid of it? I think that's dry, I think. Yep, it's dry. So see, there's my little pokey dot one. All right, so there's that. Oop, and there's my green. Let's see what I'm gonna do to the green. Um, Pop out and fix it. Oh, thank you, Tammy. 
So I'm just going to attempt to draw lines going all the way down, but you know, they're gonna end up wonky. I just know it. Can't talk and draw them at the same time. I'm trying to space them evenly. We'll see how well that works. All right, difficult. All right, so I just put little stripes all the way around. Kind of looks like a little watermelon. Oh, I'm synced up for you, Holly? Okay, maybe it's just her or the internet. It could be Facebook, who knows. Oh, go out and come back in. Thank you, Tracy. Yeah, I love the polka dots too. It looks like a little watermelon. <laughs> All right, so put my top back on my pen. So that's that one, and I need to put a coat of my white on back the pearl stuff on this one to get it a little darker. That's the only thing about this metallic paint is it's a little thinner than the rest of the paint, so you have to do several coats. Glob it all up on there. Okay, I'm done with that one. See, it's really pretty. I know you can't see it on camera. Not me, no beads, no craft stores, two hours away. Corky, you can order them on Amazon. Oh, the t-shirt, yes, it's from Beware Sportswear. It's got pineapple made with flowers, it's really cute. My pens, Beth, you can get the Posca markers on uh, Amazon. Paint's doing weird stuff. I guess it don't like the heat. It kind of wanted to bubble up on me. That's weird. It kind of bubbled up on me. I guess I was burning the paint. Y'all think? <laughs> I'm gonna brush them down. Kind of looks neat though, the little effect that it made. I know y'all can't see it, but I'm gonna try. It made like a little texture on it. <laughs> it's funny. I guess it's the heat. I'll just kind of hold it way back here, maybe. My cord is really short. That's why I'm leaning over. Because I have my extension cord, my light's plugged into it. Hey, Nancy Pond from Kansas. Is it hot in Kansas? Hot everywhere, I think. Okay. Let's see if it's dry. For the most part, it's dry. Okay. It's dry. See, it's kind of shining in the light because it's like a metallic, like that. I know y'all can't see it good. All right, I gotta get all this out of my way. Get out of my way. Okay, I think I'm going to see if I can find my black marker. Or I'll tell you what, I'll just get a, can't even find a Sharpie when you need it. And I have a hundred Sharpies, can't even find it. Can't find them. Sharpie, looking for a Sharpie. Can't find a Sharpie. Y'all, I found everything but a Sharpie. That's an old base Sharpie. Jeez, y'all. I don't even know where my black one is. I got a brown one. So I think on these, I don't know what I'm gonna do to these. It's hot in South Carolina. I think it's hot everywhere. Um, this is brown, a brown Sharpie. I use that for my um, wood pieces. And I'm just gonna make some dots with the brown since I kinda went um, earthy or fallish colors with this one. I think I'm just gonna do that. But these are so cute. And if you have, you know, teenagers or, uh, see I just put dots on it. Um, teenagers or whatever you can make these there's my navy and here is the orange and i'm gonna see if i can draw a line with my brown sharpie and if you have sharpies you can do this with entirely with sharpies you don't even have to paint the beads and you can roll them around in the paint with the water and you could totally paint them that way you don't even have to you know, be all fancy and try to draw, you know, 
paint the bead and all that stuff. I don't know what to do to this one. Maybe I'll put, let's put some white on it. 95 tonight in South Carolina. Jeez, it's hot here. I know it's gotta be at least that here. We had a heat advisory until eight o'clock and it's 8.10 now. So, so I'm just taking my little Posca and drawing dots. Gotta have my polka dots. And I'm funny about it because then I'm like, oh, I don't, I gotta fill in that spot and I gotta fill in that spot. That looks funny. I need one there, I need one here. Do y'all do that too? Like, oh, I need one more over here. And to make it look kind of symmetrical, like there's not a gap in your dots. That looks cool on the blue, doesn't it? What am I making? I'm making these little uh, beaded keychains with wood beads because um, I did wood beads Monday night, the wood bead vases. Oh, Ann, you're sweet. Thank you. I'm. I wanted to get everything there on YouTube because um, it is easier for you to find them. But also, you know, you never know what ha is going to happen tomorrow. So just as it's kind of as a backup. I love that. That looks so cool, doesn't it? It doesn't take much to entertain me <laughs> at all. It doesn't take much at all. Okay. So there's my, this one, and then I got the yellow, and I just put brown dots, and I think I'm gonna put some more brown dots. That's not enough for me. Let me make them bigger. How about I make them bigger? And this is just a regular old Sharpie. And like I said, you can color the whole bead with the Sharpie if you want to. Let your um, kids or grandkids or whatever just color on them. And if you are worried about the paint coming off, you can always like spray a coat of clear spray paint on them. But like I said, my daughter-in-law has a keychain I made for her like this on her keychain and she's had it on there a year and the, they're still painted. The paint did not come off, didn't chip off, nothing like that, she still has it. Okay, so now the fun part, so you're gonna take your key rings. You can get these at Walmart too, and you can get the leather at Walmart. And if you do it this way, you don't have to have all that fancy um, findings and all the little loops and all the crimp beads and all that, because the leather is going to do what we want it to do. And that's, we're going to tie a knot and you have this little tassel at the end. Um, I have like a light color. I just have it in my stash because I used to make jewelry a long time ago. Deidre and I had a, had a, jewelry making business a long time ago. Um, and I have this brown and then I have black. But like I said, Walmart has these little 98 cent packs. They have them in red, mustard yellow, green, blue, um, that brown, this brown, black, and they had this brown for 98 cents and you get eight feet. So that's a lot of keychain. I mean, you can make several, several keychains out of that one 98 cent pack. So this is like a good craft for, you know, kids or anybody. Okay. So now I'm going to make, I'm going to do this one out of this color. I think this light brown, I got to find the end. All right. So we know that our keychain needs to be at least this long. Okay. But we want enough. We got a tie knot and it's got a loop over this. So y'all know me, I'm going to use way more than I think that I need. But after you make the first one, you can kind of gauge of how much you need to cut off. Um, and I don't remember because it's been a while since I made these. Yeah, Debbie, I don't have the stars because um, I had put up a slideshow video and Facebook didn't like that and they took it all that away from me for a while. So hopefully till just next month. Yeah, this number up here is my texting number. If you text join to that number, um, it'll send you a message and you're on my texting list. And so I text you when I restock the shop and I text you when I go live. And I will be restocking these tomorrow night, this set, unfinished set. Um, I'll be restocking that and I'll be restocking scissors and some other things in the shop tomorrow night at 7.30 Central Time. So mark that on your calendar. I'm going to post about it. 
That is just so wrong in many ways. I hope she stuck with them and all her and all. Okay, so here is my leather and I have it just doubled over, okay? This is so easy, it's not even funny. All right, so then you're just gonna make a little slip knot. So you're gonna hook it through here like that, hook it through your ring, and then you're gonna bring the end back up and pull it through like that. So now your leather is on there like this, okay? Your little slip knot or whatever that's called. Yes, Lisa, this would be good for, for vacation Bible school. All right, and then you're just gonna have to feed, you know, make sure you get beads to have a hole that your leather's gonna go through. So if you go to the store and buy your leather, just make sure it's not too fat to go in that hole in your bead. And I would love to do the buffalo check beads, but I told y'all those holes are, the hole is so tiny in those beads, it's not gonna work. Oop. So I just slip my bead right on there like that. I heard one of the women went into the Dollar Tree. Okay, I can't see what that says. Hey, Bobby. Okay, so then it just goes on really simple. So you can knock a bunch of these out in no time. If you're one of your kids or whoever's having a slumber party or something, this would be great for you know kids to do and they can hang them on their zippers on their backpack or their keys. Yes, Nancy, I am doing the Happy Meal and I have a list of names of, from all the lives from July. I will be uh, picking one tonight for Happy Meal um, and I will we will draw for that Monday night. Um, so if, you know, you sprinkle, uh, I go and always choose three people from each live and that's how I get you on the list. That you get on the, you get in my little jar back here. Okay, you got your ho-ho, yay. Okay, so now you have this, okay? Your beads are on your leather and your leather's on your ring. And then all you're gonna do is just kind of make a loop and you're just gonna basically tie a knot or two at the end and it's that easy, guys. But look how stinking cute it is. I mean, if you got like a secret pal at work, I know we used to do that. Carol, you probably could drill the holes larger, but gosh, I'd probably hurt myself. Okay, so see, I just pushed my knot up there like that. And like I said, my daughter-in-law has one on her keychain and it's still, still kicking. I saw it uh, last week. And then I'm just gonna tie another knot in the end, just for good measure. But hers hasn't come undone or anything like that. I think the leather kind of molds to itself when you pull it through. Yeah, it just depends on what you're using your beads for. I like 20 millimeter. That's my favorite size, go-to size for pretty much anything. But look how stinking cute this is. If you want to leave this long, leave it long. If you want to get some cute little charms and tie on the bottom, do that. Um, you could even... Put some, you know, leave this long and then put a little bead on there. If I have some that have holes big enough, let's see. I don't think those holes are gonna be big enough. Let's see. Yeah, that's, those holes aren't big enough. I have this box from Amazon. I got a while back. And the only thing about this box on Amazon, I like it because I use these little beads for other things. You only get a few big ones because of course, however many fit in that slot, but you get a whole gazillion of these over here, the little ones. I don't think any of these are small enough to, uh, and my lid is broke, I have to tape it on. I'm gonna end up putting my arm in this paint. I don't think that's gonna go in that hole, but I'm gonna try. Do a little something different. Okay, I had to tape my lid because my lid is, <laughs> it broke. Okay. So I'm gonna leave this one long, I think. And this is, I don't even know what size it is. It just came in that box, so I don't have a clue. Cause it doesn't tell you, you just get them. So if I had to guess, it's probably like, that's 20, I don't know, 10 or eight millimeter. I'm gonna try to get, try to get it to come through this hole. There it goes. All right, see it fit on there. So that's what I'm saying. Be sure to get um, beads that are the holes are big enough for the leather to go through. That would be challenging what decoupage beads. Oh, I saw where somebody decoupaged them with uh, the Buffalo check paper. I thought that was really cool. Plaid beads, bead reamer. Yes, you, I have a bead reamer because like I said, I used to make jewelry and 
All right, so I'm gonna leave that little one like that and try my best to get this one to go through. And bamboo skewers, bamboo skewers work really good for this too. I can just kind of make it go through there with my, the end of that bamboo skewer. All right, is Paige on here? I see Kaylee's talking to her. So I'm gonna make this one a little longer, this. So I'm gonna tie my knot down. Aw. Oh, Tanya, your doggy died. I'm so sorry. I have a Bella too. Oh, okay, Janice. Good. I'll have to look for that. What do we text your number? You can text join and it's going to send you a message, like a welcome message. And if I, if y'all text me and I don't text you back immediately, it's because I'm having problems with mine and they've been trying to fix it for a while because it's an app. But it's, um, I can get it on my laptop, but I can't respond back to you on my phone. And it's, it's, it's about to make me mad, but I can respond on my laptop. Okay, look at how stinking cute that is. Cute. You can make happies for all your coworkers. Um, make everybody one for all the seasons and be so stinking cute. All right, so we're going to make the, this red and green one now. Oh, yeah, Darlene did that a few weeks ago, too. That's, that's horrible. Your pets are like your kids. Oh, Janice, you missed it. We're just making keychains with wood beads because, you know, I've got y'all on this wood bead kick. So I said, well, this would be a perfect time to break out this craft because, you know, I'm always about not, um, you know, let's use what we have. And if y'all are already making stuff with wood beads, then let's just keep on going with that and use what we have because we bought wood beads so same thing i got black this time i'm gonna do the black for the christmas oh it's okay wendy okay so there's my so i know i gotta have at least this much so i'm gonna leave myself some so i can tie a knot and i didn't measure earlier okay so same thing got your loop let me get it in front of my face where y'all can see it. Got my loop, it's doubled over, and then I just put it through here. Let me hold it where I can show y'all. Hold on. So you got your loop, through. you just put it through your ring, and then you're gonna bring your ends back up. Don't put it through here, just pull it straight up like that. And you got your slip knot, y'all know how to do that. You're doing another one, yay. Okay, so there is, there's that. Just a little slip thing. And then we're going to just put our beads. And like I said, sometimes if it doesn't wanna go in the bead, I'll just help it out a little bit and poke something. If I can get it, there it goes. I, you know, I can get a, bamboo skewer and I'll get that pointy end and I'll just help it on in there a little bit but sometimes you have to because it doesn't want to go straight through but see this way you don't have to have all the other little metal parts and stuff to to make you know jewelry and stuff with this is just easy and the leather leather's all stylish and all that stuff Parachute cord, there you go, Barb. Yeah, you could do that. And they make parachute cord in a little bitty too. I know, I think Hobby Lobby has a bunch. I just love that black with it. I think it's cute. Oh, my voice is back, Donna. Was my mouth moving and I was talking, saying something different like the um, old movies used to be. Look at that, how cute. And so I'm just gonna tie this one off. But if you had a cute little Santa Claus charm or a Christmas tree, or some kind of little charm, you know, Hobby Lobby's got tons of that stuff. Um, I have a lot too, I just didn't break those out because I didn't think about it till after the end. And then you just kind of pull your knot down tight to your bead, because this leather is very um, pliable, I guess is a good word. But it's this little pack of leather, this color, they had all the colors, was 98 cents. I don't know how much the key rings are. Um, but these would be cute little stocking stuffers or coworker gifts or 
Sunday school, you know, you name it. Just a little happy to give somebody. And it's too stinking cute. Make it for your, you know, your a spare set of keys or something, you know, so you would know color coded whose keys they were or what it was for um, or that kind of thing. So look at how cute. See the black at the bottom? I think that's so cute. So I made one out of this and I still have, and y'all know it just landed in my paint, right? Just one piece did. See, it landed in my orange paint and the green paint. <laughs> Y'all knew I was gonna do that, right? But you can paint this too, because obviously I've got paint all over it and it's orange. <laughs> yes, I painted the beads. You put that over here and I won't do that anymore. You love that white color. It is pretty. And like I said, it's Craft Smart by Michaels and I like their paint. I don't like Joanne's paint, I'll be honest. I don't like it. It's too thin, but I have some of it, and I use it for different things. I know it's green on there somewhere, but you can get, it's eight feet, so I probably didn't even use a foot, and if I would measure properly, I probably could do even better, but I didn't even use a, you know, that much plus a knot plus two knots, so whatever that is, you could take it apart and, um, you can measure so you would know if you were trying to be exact. But look how cute this one is with the little beads at the bottom. They're so cute. But if you had like little charms, you know, you could do these for people and do their favorite colors. Like this one is a, I painted that one up and down. It's like a coral color. And then this is lime green and it's half. I did both of those half. So the possibilities are endless. Um, this one is the top of that one and then the pearl, and then that turquoise color. Um, just, yeah, I like the Christmas one too, Kathy. I think I might have to hang it on my key ring at Christmas. I might put this one on mine now, and then go to this at Christmas. Use a plastic needle, yes. The plastic canvas needles, yes, you could do that too. Are they leather shoelaces? No, it's just a little pack of leather that came from Walmart in the jewelry making section. It was kind of like all the stuff's hanging and then they had that shelf down at the bottom like where stuff's sitting and it was it was in a box and they had this um they had this mustard yellow color they had a blue they had a red i want to say there was a green but i'm not sure and i almost bought all the colors and i thought no you gotta stop you can't buy all the colors <laughs> um it just says it doesn't even say DIY, Cousin DIY is the name of the company. Doesn't say, it just says it's eight feet. It says cord. And it just says eight, it says eight feet down here. But 98 cents for that eight feet of it. It's a lot of keychains. And then the key rings, I don't know how much they were because I already had these, but I know Amazon for the wedding, I had to buy like 200 of them for the wedding because I had to make keychains. And then, um, yeah, I like the small ones at the end too. Um, but I know Walmart has packs and this was a pack of 10 and I think this came from Walmart. So uh, I know they have them. Did you make the gnome on the tear tray from air dry clay? Him? No, that's one from Dollar Tree, but I did make this one. I did make that one. That's a video from last May. Um, and it says air, um, clay gnome from air dry clay, but yes, there's a video on this and how cute these guys are. And they are addicting because once you start painting them, you'll be like, Oh, I need one for this holiday, this holiday, this holiday, this holiday. And then I need one in my favorite color and I need one to match my room or whatever. <laughs> so yes, I have, I have a whole family of these and I have a, a big long shelf that my husband's got like a ledge and he's got to hang it for me and I'm going to line them all up on my little ledge. Oh yes, Janet, jingle bells. Oh my gosh, and I have jingle bells. I didn't even think about that. You're awesome. Yes, jingle bells. Jingle bells would be so cute on the end. Ding ding. You could find any little bobble to hang on the end at some craft store, Hobby Lobby, whatever, in the charm section and stuff. You could find all kinds of stuff. 
What kind of keychains did I make for the wedding? Oh, mercy, where are they? Um, there, it was a cross, and it was cut out with my laser, of course, and I left it raw wood, and it was engraved, and it had love written across the cross, across the cross. It had love and cursive written across there, and it was so pretty. Janice, you can make this. I promise. This is, it's not hard. It's not as hard as it looks. And see, okay, I'm going to go off on a tangent. <laughs> so, y'all think you can't do this, but I promise you, you can. Because all stuff like this is, and like painting and stuff, is one step at a time. And you start with one step. And then you do that step. And then you go to the next step. I promise you can. Because the inside of this is aluminum foil from Dollar Tree. That's what the form is. So you take your aluminum foil and you make your form of how you want your gnome to look. And then you take your clay and you roll it out flat and you cover the whole thing and you smooth it all down. That's the first step. Second step is you make a snake. Everybody knows how to do the Play-Doh snake with the clay. Make a snake and then you drape it all the way around where his hat goes. And then you just take your finger in some water and you, you rub that snake and make it part of his hat. And then you draw lines in the front with a paper clip or something easy. And then you make a ball for his nose and I don't put the nose on until he's dry. So after you have that done, you let it dry for 24 to 48 hours and I paint him and I glue the nose on, paint the nose, glue the nose on and that is it. And it, I promise you it's not as bad as um, as it seems. It really isn't. If you go watch my video, um, it's here, it's on YouTube. It's the same, you know, same videos. But it was from May of last year. It's called Air, no, Clay Gnome with Air Dry Clay, I think is what it's called. So yes, it's, it's not as complicated as it looks. Foam cone, yes, you can use the foam cone. You can get from Dollar Tree or Walmart or Hobby Lobby. And you can do it with that. I just kind of went economical and I buy the roll of aluminum foil from Dollar Tree. It's a dollar. You can get a bunch of gnomes out of it. Uh, what kind of clay? Susie, it's called DAS, D-A-S, clay. Um, I, get, I get mine at Hobby Lobby. Uh, Michael's does too, but they used to have the coupon at Hobby Lobby and I could get it for 40% off anytime. Well, they don't anymore. So you had, you know, you can wait till they put it on sale, but, um, it's a block. There's Dana. Dana's got it. DOS uh, air dry clay. And Amazon has it too. Just make sure it says on there air dry clay. So you don't have to cook it. You don't have to do any that. You just mold it to the thing. Make what you're making. And then just set it somewhere to dry. And then after a while, it'll dry. And then the bottom will be, be wet. So you kind of have to turn him over and then let that dry. But it's wonderful to work with. And then you just need a little water and the clay and it's wonderful oh elsie made seven for each one of her grandkids they are a lot of fun and then you'll be wanting to make little ones and then you'll be wanting to make a big one and his hat turned this way hat straight up you'll be wanting to make a whole family like me on the paintbrush puck you had bought do you put water in it yes the paint the jar thing yeah i i put i use water in it i don't have it out here tonight i have this <laughs> my nasty mason jar that i almost drank out of before i went live when the water was clean <laughs> a rat tail in place of the leather cord yes you could use any cord you wanted to i just like the look of the leather and plus i saw it for 98 cents and it was very economical and um it's kind of stylish you know the leather stuff's kind of in but you could hang this on your purse zipper. It would be so cute. I make it sound so easy. Yes, Janice, you could. You really can. Just don't. That's what people, a lot of people do with art and making stuff is they look at the finished product and they're like, there's no way I can do that. But if you break it down into steps, it, you know, like Brooke said at our retreat this last weekend, and I'm a firm believer in this, you know, God doesn't show us the whole staircase. You, you, you can only see one step at a time. He doesn't show you where you're going to be in 10 years because 
it's like, okay, I'm not going to go through all that to whatever. So, but he only shows you one step at a time and you have to trust him to make that step. So you just do one step at a time and one step at a time. And then before you know it, you look down and you're like, oh, I came that far. Yes, you came that far. So that's the same way with this. If you do one step, master that, then do the next step, and then the next step, and the next step, and you're done. Then you have a whole known. Yes, it's a it's a video talking about the gnome. It's a video back from May. Got some super cute gnomes at Hobby Lobby today. Yes, they always have cute ones too. I got I got a cute one at home store the other day. Hey Sheila, you're okay. You can always watch replay. It's always here for you to watch. The name for the video with the gnome is um, it says clay gnome with DOS air dry clay or something like that. But it was in May of last year. Yes, Janice, you just break it down. And like when you're painting, you know, when I showed y'all how to make those flower pictures, if you saw the whole picture, you'd be like, oh, I can't paint that. And then it's, but if you just do it one step at a time, I, I used to help another lady teach art at the school where my son went back home. But if you only do what like, one step at a time then before you know it you got a whole canvas full of flowers just do one step at a time start with basic shapes and then go from there so it's 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 a lot easier to look at it that way you seen bob ross paint he just does a little tree over here and he does the little branches y'all know how he paints never tried clay you might want to give it a try linda i promise it is so much fun and it's to me it's soothing to have your hands kind of wet and you're smoothing out that clay with your thumb and like that's how I that's how I make this part is with my thumb and I just constantly rub in that clay and it's just something soothing about it and then when you're finished then you get to paint it but now I wouldn't put them outside even though I seal them I wouldn't put them outside Sheila got some calendars today Woo -hoo! how many gnomes can you get from one block of clay it depends on how how many you, how big you make them but I roll it because the inside of this is that is aluminum foil and you make your base however you want his hat to curl or whatever and then um, I, I get my clay about that thick maybe a maybe a quarter of an inch thick and I cover the whole thing I could probably get I'd say maybe four maybe five out of a block like this maybe oh you have faux desserts debbie out of your out of the clay that's awesome yes tanya i changed my day because my son's on the football team and i was thinking okay they're gonna have friday night football games well i forgot that he's on like the jv team so they'll be playing like on i don't know i'm they, i think they play on tuesdays but i'm not sure um so now it doesn't matter. But yeah, I switched to Thursdays. Dana, I, I have sealed mine with Mod Podge. I just paint Mod Podge on it. And it kind of gives it a little shine to it a little bit. But you could use that triple thick. Have you ever heard of triple thick? Yeah, so I changed to, I did change to Thursday. I did that a few weeks ago. Teresa, I have made stuff from clay last, um, like, September before Halloween I made some little pumpkins with it on here I've made the little ghost the little ghost had a little party hat he was really cute Kathy wants one calendar bless her me too Nancy I want to make everything and I have a list a going list and I look at um, a lot of stuff on Instagram and that's like my eye candy I look at lots of people's tear trays and stuff and I don't know if I'll ever get through my list. My list never ends. Never. I'm like, oh, I'm working on a project. Oh, I see something else I want to do, and I'm off over there. No, I finished my stuff, but still, I may do it a little while, and then I'll put it down and uh, finish something and get way gung-ho into it, and then it's like, okay, I'm on to the next thing, but then I'll come back to it, kind of like the clay, like, I, I need to make some some gnomes for my tear tray for uh, for fall. I don't have any like I want to paint one like a candy corn, his hat like a candy corn. I want to do one with a black hat. Um, 
haven't made anything with it. Sort of have to find anything. See, if you already have it, Emily, there you go. Go watch my video and you'll be hooked. You'll be making little, you'll have a whole little gnome village before you know it. Yeah, I've tried other brands like Kaylee's talking about. I got some air dry clay from Walmart. It wasn't the Crayola air dry clay. It was like, I don't even know the brand. And this is actually one of them and I'll show you up close what it looks like. So I made like five or six of them. I had people wanting them. I made them for my vendor booth and I sold them in there too. And I did, um, made a whole bunch of them. They were all drying. I came back the next day, y'all, the clay had cracked and I was devastated. So you can kind of see, and I kind of tried to fix them a little bit and you may not can see, but see that area right there? I had a crack there. You see that big line across there? That was a crack. He was cracked up here. I was devastated. So I had to remake them again. I had to go to Hobby Lobby and get the right kind of clay because I thought, well, I can use this clay from Walmart. No, I had to go get the DOS clay and it, I had to make them all over again. So these ended up being mine and not who I was making them for. But, um, but yeah, I have probably, dang, I don't know. I have like 10 or, 10 or 12 or 15 of these things all the way from this size. I have one over here that's bigger than this one. Yes, Donna, I change up my tear trays too. You want a village, Janet? It's going to make you a whole village. You can name them all and everything, like the Smurfs. I need to do another live on the clay gnomes. Okay, maybe I'll do that. I may, Maybe I need to do that and do it again because there's a lot of you that, that weren't with me then and you can see how I make them rather than watching the video again, but I need to make some more for myself anyway. Why don't you make the candy corn one live? Okay, Bobby, done. We'll make the candy corn one. We'll do it next week. Cause see, I'll have to, what I'll have to do is make one and let it dry. And then I'll make one for y'all and then paint the one that's already dry. Cause it takes 24 to 48 hours. And that's the bad part. You have to sit there and wait for this stuff to dry. And that's the impatient part. <laughs> Nancy, you, you lose your focus and you're just like jumping around. I, we're all guilty of that, I promise you. We're all guilty. Kelly, I love the Smurfs too. I had all the little figures. I wish I still had all those. Please do another live. Okay, Dana, I'll do it. I'll do it. We'll do it Monday night. How about that? I just, um, I just had to make one this weekend and let him dry. Yes, make more gnomes. Okay, because I need some to go with my fall and my Halloween and all that stuff that I'm going to do. You're gonna get some clay. All right, Nicole, we're gonna be, we're gonna be rolling in some clay, cause I know I have some. What kind of clay? I'm sorry, dear. Mm, you want me? To, I'll grab it real fast and I'll show you all the package. That always helps me when I show you the package. Let's see. All right. Here's the package. Hold on. And you want to seal it up after you use it because it will dry out. Um, and it dries while you're working with it, so you kind of have to keep adding water. So this block, it, it's a, I mean, it's heavy, um, is $9.99 at Hobby Lobby. So they do put it on sale. But, I mean, it's a, it, I think it's two. I thought it said on here how hard it was. But see up here, it says air hardening clay. And then it says $9.99 on that tag. Um, it says modeling clay right here but it says air hardening. Cause some of the stuff you have to kind of bake or whatever, like the FEMA, FEMA clay or FEMO clay or whatever it is. I thought it said on here how many pounds it was. It's made in Italy though. It's gluten free, just so you know. Um, but it's really cool. And uh, here's some that I have left of this one. It's all wrapped in saran wrap cause it will dry out. I love my tear trays too, Diane. I love them. But yeah, that's what it looks like. So this is what you're looking for if you go to Michael's or Hobby Lobby. And Michael's, they still do their coupons and all that stuff. So you might can get it cheaper at Michael's. I would just look. But that's what it looks like. If you want to take a screenshot, there you go. Screenshots are wonderful. I have my whole phone full of screenshots and everything else. Um, Charlene, I don't... I think I may have made a little bit of candy corn, but I'm gonna make I'm gonna make some 
uh, gnomes look like candy corn, like their hats. I'm gonna paint them. Uh, you, you thought you were the only one that had four going at one time? No. Do people eat clay? I don't know, but it sure says right here, it says gluten free. Just in case you need to know that. <laughs> Hold it for a screenshot. All right, here we go. <laughs> screenshot, screenshot, screenshot. Tick, 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 tick. There you go. Um, your hubby does that for you all the time. Yeah, I do screenshots and take pictures of all kinds of crazy stuff. I need to go through my phone and get rid of, of a bunch of stuff that I'm like, what did I take a picture of this for? Judy, you're gonna use your hands and you need some aluminum foil. So you're gonna go to Dollar Tree. If you go to Dollar Tree and you're gonna get, this is what I buy, just the cheapy. I don't use Reynolds Wrap now because Reynolds Wrap too expensive to be balling it up in a ball. <laughs> Um, no, Dana, I hadn't made any girl gnomes. I guess I need to try some with some braids. But, um, just the cheap Dollar Tree. It's a dollar for 40 square feet. That's what I use. I have a box and another spare. <laughs> um, so you're going to make your base with your aluminum foil. Because if you use this whole thing with solid clay, you can use half that block. So, you know, I'm all about... Uh, being practical. Let's make it go a little further. Um, $7 on Amazon for a 1.1 pound block. See, I thought this said on here how much it weighs, but I cannot find it unless it's in this little bitty print that I can't read. It doesn't say. It doesn't say how much it weighs, but I would guess that it's pro that's probably close because it's pretty heavy. I have a scale that's over there, but it's pretty heavy. My mom is dying. I thought I was ready. Nancy, I'm so sorry. I lost my mom eight years ago and my dad three months after her. So I understand the pain you're going through. I'm so sorry. That breaks my heart. Yes, triple thick, Dana, absolutely. But yes, Nancy, I'll be praying for you. I know that's hard. I don't care how old you are. You lose your mom. There's just something about it. Somebody that's long known you longer than anybody else. I'm with you, sister. I lost my parents three months apart. So, yeah. So, yeah, we will definitely be praying for you, Nancy. Absolutely. I've been there. It's not fun. I'm so sorry. I know we're all appointed a, a time to go but we're just not ever quite ready to let go. That's the one. Oh, this is it, Barb? Okay, so that's what I figured it weighed about that much. So Amazon is $7. So if you have Prime, you can order it. It'll be here by Monday. Yes, we're praying for you, Nancy. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Well, I hope she doesn't suffer. I, you know, I hope it, it doesn't suffer and you linger and lingers and... Is 2.2 is on the end of the fold. It's probably the end of the fold that I cut off. I would say. Yeah. But see, it's this, it's this color. It's like a, it's not white, but it's not cream either. It's kind of a uh, off-white kind of color. Yeah, I probably cut that part off. And this one is, this one feels like it's, feels kind of hard but I can't tell. But yeah, if you cut it open, put it in a like a Ziploc or something because it will dry out. Like this one, I think. I think this one is. Yeah, we're praying for you, Nancy. We'll, we'll keep you in our prayers. Do I go on your site to buy t-shirts? Carla, I, I answered your email today. I don't have t-shirts anymore. My t-shirt girl took another a, a different direction and she doesn't do t-shirts anymore. Um, but these, this t-shirt here I got from, it's called B, the letter B, wear, W-E-A-R, sportswear. And I found them on Facebook one day and I clicked on it, went to the website and I ordered shirts and they're really cute. 
Oh, Teresa, hers has been gone 25 years. It, I, you just learn how to live with it. I don't think it gets any better. I have my days. Oh, Frida. Everybody's praying for Nancy. Yeah, my heart breaks for her. Bless her heart. I don't care if you're 8 or 80. It's just, it's still bad. So, all right, guys. Well, I'm going to hop off. We're going to remember to pray for Nancy. I'm going to hop off. And um, tomorrow night at 730, I'll restock these. The ho, 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 or the o o o. I'll restock this tomorrow at 730 Central Time. And the scissors, they're going to be restocked. And some other little things, the flip-flops, all that stuff. Um, that will be restocked as well. I'm going to try to cut some gnomes. The gnome, the attachment gnomes, I'll try to cut some of those. Um, hopefully going to get my big laser moved in here this weekend. So I'll be working on that. And then I have to do training on it. Um, so I'll get it up going hopefully next week. So yes, Nancy, we'll be praying for you. And praying, praying, praying. Um, yeah, Beware Sportswear. Kaylee just gave you the link. That's where I get these cute t-shirts. Um, good night, Arlene. All right, guys, I'm hopping off, and I will see y'all Monday night. I hope y'all have a wonderful weekend. And Clay, if you're gonna, we're going to do gnomes Monday night. i got to make some gnomes this weekend. But I'm glad to because I've been needing to. Yes, we all have those days. Yes, we do. Scissors, yes. All right. Thank you, Renee. I enjoyed it, too. I always enjoy chatting with y'all. I always enjoy it. Anytime I'm creating, I'm just, like, in my, in my zone. All right, guys. I love all y'all. Y'all be safe over the weekend. Don't get too hot. Drink plenty of water. And, Nancy, we're saying prayers for you. All right. See you guys. Bye.